So I think um, tomorrow is the inauguration of uh, President Obama and it's a time really to reflect on a lot of very important issues. You know, the fact that he's first Afro-American president is, is very important, but also I think his inauguration is a sign of something much deeper. I think it's a fundamental shift that's taking place in this country. It's a shift that I've seen coming for some time, but I think that his election plus the uh, economic crisis, the recession, is really forcing a lot of Americans to really think about what's important in their lives. Um, the whole of modern American economy is being built on the premise that more is good and that uh, by buying more products and shopping more, you're going to be happier. Yet I feel that that assumption is now being really shattered over the last uh, six to nine months. And that President Obama's election really reflects uh, something much deeper, a yearning for a return to maybe traditional American values. Because of course, a hundred years ago, um, the idea of consumption, shopping, status through what you own was really consigned to a very small part of the American population. And the dominant uh, values in this country were, were thrift, um, self-reliance, independence, and, and living very simply. And my feeling is there will be a return to these values. And um, I think it's, it's excellent because the tragedy really over the last uh, 20 years or so is that Americans, and, and many Europeans too, have been working harder than ever to buy more stuff, which has probably made them less happy, and most of it's ended up in storage anyway. Um, it's an insane system. And of course, the other side of this system is that it's caused great damage to the environment. Uh, there's too many of us consuming too much too quickly in the world. And my hope is that the new president and the new, what the Germans call zeitgeist in this country, a new mood, a new feeling, is really gonna help people readdress what is important to them and realize that happiness has nothing to do with what you own and it has far more to do with the quality of your life, um, the quality of your relationships, quality of your health, quality of your family and the quality of the work you do and that we judge our work not just in terms of what we earn but more importantly in terms of contribution and whether really we're really getting satisfaction from it. There's been a lot of research over the last few years in the field of uh, positive psychology. And um, this is an area which uh, I've, I've taught at, uh, at university in Oxford and also written about and uh, spent a lot of time uh, consulting with businesses to understand. Because my feeling is that we actually really want to be happy more than we want to be wealthy. And that our search for wealth and, and our, our search to be better and more competitive has actually led to, to less happiness and that there's a balance between making a living and being happy. And the, the clear evidence is that whether it be at work or at home, that the happiest people are people who have the most friends, who, who have the best relationships, but also find meaning in what they do. Uh, volunteers, uh, people who work for non-profits, are often far happier than the CEO of a Fortune 500 business who might be earning many millions a year. But it's highly stressed and often doing work that doesn't hold meaning for them. And there reaches a point in many people's lives when they realise that it's not just about money and, and it's, there's much more that they're searching for. And I think that those businesses, those organisations who can provide an answer to people's deeper needs, and not just their financial needs, but their personal needs, their spiritual needs, their needs for affiliation and belonging, will be the successful organisations in the future. And I think what we're seeing again um, in President Obama's election, and we saw it in over the weekend, and I'm sure we'll see it tomorrow when millions converge on Washington, is the very deep yearning to be part of a movement, to be part of something bigger than yourself. And that leads to a much deeper level of happiness, say, than uh, owning the latest sports car or a large home.